What's going on guys? Kappa FPV here. Today I'm going to be showing you something special. These are wheels and tires from D1RC. They're 3.2s. They're for 1 tenth scale and 1 eighth scale. They're really, really nice wheels. Uh, they offer, I believe, seven different styles of rim and two different tire sizes for it. So let's jump on in it and take a look. Okay, the first ones that we're going to have up are going to be called the black holes. And these are 3.2. These are a one-piece wheel. They have the bead lock on the back side. The, the, the ring on it. If you look, it has a similar hub to like a Vanquish, but the lug pattern might be a little bit bigger or something's a little bit different about it. It's hard to say off the top of my head, not really being that familiar with it, I guess. Um, you can see these are solid aluminum, nice mill work. There is a left and a right, so when you open the package, you'll get, you know, a left and a right side. So it's like for one axle. So maybe if you're doing six axle, you'll get the exact ones you'll need. So looking them over, like I said, it is a Vanquish style you know, hub that goes on there. On these ones in particular, you would have to bolt this hub onto your axle and then use the six lug nuts to hold it on, which is kind of neat, but kind of stinks in a way. I like to be able to have a removable center cap, but I love that these actually have a center cap. The other ones don't have the center cap. So, you know, looking at them and the quality, they went together really great. You, know, you can see I have a set here, left and a right side. And, you know, they went together great. The tires went together, you know, went on nice and everything. But that was the black hole ones, and let's take a look at the other ones. These are another 3.2 wheel from D1RC, and these ones are called the Sun. And these ones are also a left and a right side. They don't have a center cap. So you can bolt them, you know, you bolt this straight up to the truck. So you don't ever have to mess with these, which is nice. Uh, these are also, uh, I guess, a one-piece wheel. You just pull that ring off and, you know, mount your tire like normal. This is, a, you know, both of these wheels are exceptional quality. And the last one that I have here, this one, I believe this one doesn't actually have a name. They go by a model number, which is ZC3NS05, I believe. And you can find pictures of it online where the hub is black, or the rim is black, and the center is gold. And those are the ones I originally purchased. But after contacting you know, the, the maker, they said that the gold ones they discontinued because they were having some issue. Long story short, I got these. So I'm not disappointed. These ones are actually a three-piece wheel. So it's not actually a three-piece. It's a two-piece. So with that being said, it looks like if I wanted, which I probably will, is I'll probably end up maybe painting the rim, maybe paint it black. Maybe I'll hydro dip the center. It bolts on and off with regular Allens. Uh, it's the same same story as the one before. It doesn't have a center cap. Bolts directly on. The wheels are, you know, just as nice as the last two sets that I showed. They're really high quality. Everything, you know, went together really well. So, with that being said, let's move on to the tires. For tires, they give you two options. They have a lower profile and one that's a little bit higher sidewall. Now... The, both of them feel exactly the same compound. It kind of reminds me of like the, I don't know, maybe Predator compound for the high, the uh, Proline tires. And, you know, they're really grippy, good tires. I haven't actually used them out, you know, crawling or anything, but I would assume that these are going to grip really nice. They got good lugs. I believe it'll be good. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of both tires that they offer. 
lower profile and the higher sidewalls, uh, they're not mounted, so they're kind of sitting weird. But they do, you know, they are fatter than the wheel on these ones in particular. And actually, they are on both of them. Now that I even look at this truck here, they are, you know, a little bit wider tire, lower profile. Now, I know what you're thinking. These things look way too big, and you can't use them for anything. I think you would be able to get away with using it unless, you know, it's like some major comp or something. And the reason why I say that is this is a 1.9 tire with a 2.2 wheel that I normally run, and it's a Proline Hydrax that is a Class 2 tire. It doesn't look anything weird. But when you put it up next to the 3.2 low profile tire, it's the exact same height. So in all reality, if you run in this tire and you used to run a class two setup, you're not going to change your height. So if you fit, this you fit this now to fit these bigger ones you're probably going to need some clearance like this truck wouldn't do it because you know at max flex it could touch the body so with all that being said and looking at them on the ride i mean they look really good i don't really know how they perform yet i'm sure they perform pretty good because the compound is really nice how well it will hold up i don't know i'm not really sure and I don't know if you can get other foams. Like, these tires come with foams. But if you needed to replace them, I think you're going to have to buy a whole new set of tires. Because, I, you know, I'm not 100% sure. I'll probably get flamed for this. But I think they don't make 3.2s. But maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm totally wrong. Maybe I should have looked into it more. Maybe there's thousands of these. And, you know, I'm just looking at the one. But these things caught my eyes. They were amazing looking and you know they really set off at least my truck so i'm going to take it to a comp and i'm going to run it and see if anybody complains about it and if they do don't score me and you know i'll keep my own score with that being said what what are your favorite wheels because on this truck i put both of them I put both of them on there to try it out and see. I don't know. I think the black ones are doing it for me. These ones I might put on, you know, one of my other hard bodies. I'm not really sure. I got a couple of hard bodies in the mix right now that, you know, are going to be coming out here soon. But how about in the comment section you tell me what ones you like on this truck? I'm thinking it's gonna, these are going to be the winners. I'm not really sure. I think this is what I'm going to keep on here just because of the, the overall look of this truck. Tell me what you think in the comments about these wheels. Would you buy them? Would you run them on your rock crawler, your on-road car, your A-scale? I mean, they're really nice, and I don't know of anybody that's making anything like this right now besides some custom ones. And these, you know, you can buy parts for them. You can buy tires for them, etc. I'd imagine you can even probably get road tires i'm not sure but if they make 3.2s which they probably do and i'm probably just wrong you know you can probably get any tire you really want for it but these do look good and they do make the trucks you know stand out and you get a whole new look with this you get that mall crawler look maybe they'll open a class i'll be the first mall crawler class <laughs> contestant or whatever so i hope my video was a little informative if you're thinking about buying these wheels, you know, I'd say go for it. The wheels and tires are really nice. The combo looks nice. You know, there's other sets. There's Milky Ways, which are like a swirl-looking one, which are pretty cool, too. They have solid billet ones, black ones, you name it. There's a bunch of different styles. There's TriStar. So, I mean, if you want, look them up. It's D1RC. I purchased these from King Scale RC out in Oregon, which has a uh, in indoor crawler course, which is pretty cool. I'd like to check that out one day, try that out, 
it's hot here in the Florida sun trying to do anything. So being inside in the AC, having fun is uh, kind of where it's at. If you'd like to learn any more about this truck in particular, this was my very first crawler truck. It was a, I bought it last February. It was a um, SCX-10-2 CRC Jeep. And, you know, obviously I've modded it, put a different chassis on it, body, interior, kind of a bunch of different things. If you want to learn more about this in particular, I'm going to be doing a video specifically about this on how I put it together and what's going on with it. i am also been thinking about possibly hydro dipping my controller. I don't know. That's something that seems like it would be interesting to watch. You know, let me know. And then, not last not, but not least, I have a couple hard bodies that I've been working on. These are 3D printed. Um, they're not files that you're going to find online anywhere. So these are kind of a little bit custom they got a little couple more more bodywork things to do here and there on some of them if you notice the forerunners got some some markings on it where <laughs> where it needs some attention i'm going to be doing a series where i print this set it up and even uh do the bodywork and paint it so we're going to do one we're probably going to hydro dip one body and we'll probably do like a tri coat like three stage like pearl or candy or something on the other ones if you're interested in those you know hit me up leave me a message drop a line i'll do some more videos on those post some more pictures and stuff if you'd like to learn about any of the other things on this table just leave a comment and i'll try to get that video out or get you that information as soon as i can um, if you like what we're doing please like and subscribe it'll make me make more videos and bring more stuff to the to you guys one more thing i forgot to mention the package actually doubles as a stand for your truck so you can work on it and it's non-slip because of the the material that's on the packaging so that's just another added bonus you get two stands if this video helped you please like and subscribe and until next time peace out